views and opinions expressed did not necessarily reflect those of Access Fort Wayne, the Allen County Public Library, or any other supporting groups. If you'd like to produce a show, call us at 260-421-1250. This is Patty Hunter, and hey Lynn, what's cooking? Does that sound familiar? <laughs> well, today's guests are my special favorite ones, of course, eh? This is Lynn Austin of Hello. Hey Lynn, What's Hello, Cooking? Patty. How you doing? I am doing fine, and this is her husband, Dan Austin. Hello, Patty. K105 FM Thanks Radio. for having us. Oh my goodness, you're a radio personality, aren't you now? Well, personality is uh, well, very little bit. You're a character. <laughs> yeah, I say character. Nah. <laughs> I'm on the radio, yes. Well, <laughs> welcome to my show, Lynn and Dan. Oh, oh thank, thank you, you for having us. Yeah, thank you for having us. This so is nice. I'm going to start off with asking you questions today. Oh, boy. Today. <laughs> I'll Here see we you go. in a while. <laughs> <laughs> I expect a lot of laughter this half hour. Oh, we, we laugh a lot, don't we? <laughs> Are you from here? No, Where I am not. From? I am from a south suburb of Chicago. Ah. I was born and raised in the south suburbs of Chicago. Do you say A? No, we don't say A. How would you say? Oh, Yo. 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 <laughs> <laughs> we, uh, we, we talk kind of fast. When I get excited, I talk yeah, fast. Yeah, I kind of noticed that when we did your shows. <laughs> yeah, we're... I'm Polish and Italian, so I talk with my hands. Oh, my stars. Yeah. So. What a mixture. Yeah. <laughs> now that we've offended the Polish and Italian people. <laughs> oh, my stars. Oh, no, we're not offending them. I think, them. It, I think it's wonderful. <laughs> wonderful. Yeah, we've, we've been here 15, 15 years. 15 yeah. years. 15 years, huh? Mm-hmm. So uh, where did you two meet? We actually met in a White Castle parking lot, as uh, humorous as that sounds. <laughs> we were cruising, trying to pick up... Uh, uh oh. Each other and yeah, it's uh, a thing that you did back yeah. back then. I shouldn't say back then because it wasn't that long well, ago. Twenty five years ago. <laughs> so I guess it was. They yeah. still have them too. Yeah. Just not in Fort Wayne. Mm. Yeah, we We're love White Castle, but we don't have one here in Fort Wayne. So we were cruising around and then we met each other and White Castle. What, what is that? A restaurant or oh, oh it's see, a you haven't tavern? experienced the fine delicacies of a White Sliders. Castle hamburger. Sliders. You yes. haven't had a slider. There I've had it at the the foundry. Oh, no, they're not the same. I know they have them here. A lot of people compare them to, to Powers, Powers, which are in Fort Wayne, but it's not. The uh, Powers has the, the longer stringy onions, yep. and White Castle has the, the chopped up onions. Both are, are delicacies. Little square hamburgers okay. with little oh, holes in them, they and they steam them, mm -hmm. and <laughs> steam the buns. Mm. Uh, they slide right down, eh? Mm -hmm. Is that what they're oh, called? Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> we'll just leave it there, yes. <laughs> I won't go even there. <laughs> you, you are so bad. <laughs> so, uh, you've been in Fort Wayne how long? For 15 years. 15 years? Yeah. How long have you been years. married? Uh, it'll be 20 years actually this year. Yep, this September, 20 years. So. In April, for Bob and I, we're going to be 21. Oh, Congratulations. Exciting. Congratulations. We married kind of late, but who knows? Well, <laughs> hey, you're still together. That's awesome. Uh, yeah, how did he put up with me? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. He was just saying the same thing when we came in. <laughs> you get yours. <laughs> I was going to say, uh, when did you start your cooking show on Access Fort Wayne? I started my cooking show. It's been about two years. It'll be two years this June. Two years. Mm -hmm. What motivated you to get this started? I like to cook. <laughs> I thought it would be fun. Hmm. And my hubby has always said, you know what? You should do a show. And I said, okay. So you yeah. went through the producer course mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Yeah. So how did you manage to land? Uh, is it once a month you do? Um, yes, once a month. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because we have kids and they're we busy with kids. sports <laughs> and this and that. We're running to dance, basketball, football, baseball. You name it, we're Sounds running. Like you have a lot of kids. Are you just no, just two. Just two. That's yeah. enough. Very busy. Yeah, kids. That is enough. <laughs> that's enough. We have three cats. <laughs> So they, they keep you busy too. 
<laughs> what uh, um, what made you come up with the title of your? Hey, Lynn, what's cooking? What because, because the kids always would come in the house and say, "Hey, mom, what's cooking? What's cooking?" <laughs> so that's basically, basically how we start. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we just kind of <laughs> went with it, and it works. So, what is your favorite food? Oh gosh, favorite food. <laughs> <laughs> uh -uh. Well. Should I ask? Uh, um, it's well, that would be a snack. But my favorite food, I would have to say, would probably be Italian. Any type of Italian food. I like Italian food. You like dessert? Italian dessert? Um, yeah, Italian dessert. Have you cooked it on would, the um, show? I haven't. I know I haven't done really an Italian show yet. There you go. Yeah, that's the next one. Next yeah. one I, Italian. Thing I, I love a la something. lasagna. We love to make lasagna. Oh, yeah, she makes the best lasagna. Yeah. Mm. I love do, and uh, pizza. We make pizza. homemade pizzas oh, and lasagna. Oh, my so. goodness. Yeah. I got to be here when you do that. Italian sausage. We oh. like all that. So. She's hungry. making me hungry just talking She's about it. She's making me hungry, too. It's nice I get to be the guinea pig at home when she does all this stuff. Here, yeah. try this. It's for the show. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Somebody that. will have to do it. And <laughs> you finish it off, and there's none left for uh, anyone absolutely. else. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> the kids, uh, do, do they get to participate in your cooking at home? Oh, yes. Yeah, actually, um, they both do. Mm -hmm. They both like to get in there and measure things and flip pancakes Getting and make messy. waffles and... Oh, well. I'll do make bread. They, they like everything. They like do they make everything. Belgian waffles? He, that yeah. is your specialty. Dan's oh, specialty. Absolutely. Uh, yes, he makes the Belgian that. waffles because he has one of those little things that, that flips. Flip over. Oh, yeah, oh. that's his uh -huh. That's his thing. We used to have that when we were little. The old fashioned, uh, you open it up, pour it in, close it, uh -huh. scrape the sides mm -hmm. so it wouldn't come. Yeah, scrape the sides. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. Yeah, he has yeah. the maker down to a science. I got I hooked say. at Choice Hotels when we stay there. Okay. Oh, I got I got to have one of those for my own home. Yeah, so, so he got one. That's how it happened. Oh, where'd you get it? Where do you get the? I don't target? know. It was a present, oh. but yeah, oh, I think you I can get it Target. JC Penney's, Cole, Target. They whatever. have any of them. Because I love okay. waffles. We grew up with that. We got blueberry. Oh. Mm, but we we put fruit on them this weekend. Oh my the Blueberries. And I like strawberry. to put the blueberries in each one of the little squares. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> hey, you said you wanted to laugh. I'm just <laughs> <laughs> how about whipped cream? Do you put whipped cream oh, yeah. on it? Oh, yeah. Well, whipped cream, yeah, we do that. We, we, we haven't had have have this any. weekend. No. Do you have any uh, type of syrup that you fancy that you make, like raspberry or whatever? No. Just anything. Plain I like jelly on my waffles, but like jams, mm. blackberry jam, raspberry Do you make your own jam? jam? Uh, no. That's one thing I don't That's do. That's another thing we have to do. That's one thing I don't do that I, would, I wouldn't mind trying. She actually okay. makes a... Uh, jamming in the car. It's called traffic jam. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, I thought you said I was going to jam in the car. <laughs> I thought you were going to do this. <laughs> and you are jamming the music. Yeah, I jammed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Sorry, indeed. Betty. Um, I'm Just trying to keep up. a straight face, but these guys aren't letting me do it. I really, I don't think so. But I'm telling you, uh, what kind of food do you normally cook when you're on your shows? Oh, anything. It's that didn't help. <laughs> anything. What's we your, what's your we go with holidays. We do different, like I said, different themes. Um, favorite thing to cook? I really don't have a favorite thing to cook. Are you cooking for Easter? Oh, I always cook for Easter. Yes, <sighs> I always I mean, like family-wise or right. on my show, on your show. Um, we're going to be doing bunny breads and making lamb cakes. Oh, I'm and coming. Yeah, so <laughs> it'll be fun. So how long do you uh, normally uh, do most of your prepa preparation before the show is? Um, before I tape the show, I would s say that week prior, yeah. I start getting things ready, my decorations what exactly I'm going to put in the recipe, make sure I have everything, and some things are made ahead of time for the finished products. But and let the crew know that it's a certain time. Mm -hmm. I usually like crew. to phone the day before, the night before. Yep. That's what I do. The same thing. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> day, night. It's all day the night. same. <laughs> good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Hey. <laughs> How long is the show? Half hour. Half hour. You don't want to do it longer? 
Um, I think I could, but with scheduling with the kids and stuff, it's kind of hard right now to yeah. make it longer. Yeah, it would be interesting if you could have a real story and everything. So you could just cook it while you're on your Yeah, day. an hour show would be, you know, oh. a lot of things would be done. But yeah. with a half hour show, I have to have my dishes done ahead of time. Right. Or if they're simple, they can get done on the show if they don't take that long. But And you have an imaginary oven? Yes, when we're in the studio, I have an imaginary oven. <laughs> what? Is that real? <laughs> oh. That's a facade. <laughs> I can't pretend. Well, would you ever consider doing it live as opposed um, to? Yeah, <laughs> sure. I, I, I think that would be fun. I could do a live show. That would be fun. Yeah, that half an fun. hour, just a half an do hour. Do a half hour live show. I think that would be a good idea. Yeah. Heck, like cool. I could even do like a call in show and have people call yeah. in. That would be fun, but I don't know if it would be a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> have you seen Why some of the not? guests on this thing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we have strange, you have interesting guests. Oh, oh, yeah. you, oh you're calling my friends strange. No, that's no, okay, no, no. <laughs> no, but I will. <laughs> How did I get into this? <laughs> Anyways. It's all right. Ah. <laughs> uh, your show's air date and the time it's on. It airs every Saturday morning at 9 a.m. Every Saturday morning? Mm -hmm. you, mean you don't have a time slot or? Every Saturday. Every, every Saturday. 9 a.m. 9 a.m. Oh. And what channels are they on? That would be 27 and 57. Because 27 is Frontier and 57 is Comcast. Right. We didn't rehearse this at all, honest. <laughs> no, I noticed that. <laughs> I'm thinking you're asking me all these questions. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just pummeled. I'm just uh, <laughs> with the questions. You're good. You're good. <laughs> Where man, were oh, you man. at eight o'clock last? <laughs> it wasn't me. <laughs> well, you know. <laughs> so uh, we noticed that you're doing your some of your shows at, from home. Why is that? Because. I wanted the atmosphere of my kitchen. <laughs> You're going to do that from now on? I get you home? know, hopefully, if everything out works out well, then mm. it would be able to do it from the home. Cause from the home. From the home. From the home. It's nice. <laughs> it gives a different feel. It does. It does. Yeah, it's cool. Now, Dan. Uh oh. Your She's turn. off the hot seat now. Okay. I'm going to zero in on Do I need to hold my hand on anything and raise my hand? Okay. Or? Get the sweat off your palms okay. and all that sort. I'm ready. Where were you from? I'm from Chicago. And, Chicago. And, and actually, um, it's funny because Lynn and I, we were actually born in the same hospital. Just a couple of, well, about a year and a half apart. Yeah. Really? Not many people can say that. It would have been really cool if we were born on the same day or something. <laughs> funny we should meet you. The small yeah, world. The bassinet just next to mine. <laughs> and then, wham! It looked over and said, I'm going to marry Love that first sight. <laughs> yeah. Uh, how yeah. long were you there? In the hospital? Just a couple days. No, you silly goose. Oh. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> in Chicago. Uh, we moved out here in 97, so 30 years. 30 yeah. years? Yeah. Yeah. Do you have brothers, sisters, anything between? I have an older sister. Oh, really? Mm hmm. You have sisters, brothers? Not as attractive oh, as Oh, I have an older brother and <laughs> two older sisters. Yeah. I'm one of the oldest in my family. I won't tell you how old I am. <laughs> but you have brother? Sister. Sister. Mm -hmm. Is she younger than you? Older. Older. You just said that, didn't you? Yeah, that's all right. It went through hey, one year and out the other. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> You're catching me off guard, old boy. So you've been here uh, 15, 15 years. 15 yeah. years. Married to this one, eh? Absolutely. What's it like being married to this one? In what way? <laughs> uh, is it is it is it is it uh, is marriage uh, a good thing to do? Oh, absolutely. Oh, yeah. Absolutely, yeah. Wouldn't wouldn't have it any other way. Wow, that was a good answer. <laughs> yes, you are so lucky. What a good lucky. anniversary <laughs> present. <laughs> <laughs> when is your anniversary well, present? Sep it's in <laughs> September. September. Yeah, we're actually uh, we've talked about going to Vegas to review right. our vows this year. Yeah. Do the Elvis Chapel. You know? We're gonna do the Elvis Wedding Chapel thing. Thank you very <laughs> much. Oh, my stars. That's how we want to renew them. <laughs> She's actually going to grow sideburns. <laughs> I'm not going to go near that. <laughs> so tell me already. Yeah. You are a radio character. Personality, I mean, K105 FM. Classify as both, yeah. So uh, what time do you normally start? Five until ten every day in the morning. What kind of music? 
country music. That's the genre? Oh, that's pretty cool. Country music, yeah. Where and when did you learn to be a radio? I actually went to broadcasting school in Chicago. Oh. And uh, you know, did that. And I, when I got in broadcasting, I just pretty much dabbled in, in everything. Worked for a radio syndication company, for a sports radio syndication company. I worked for a country station in Chicago and you know, just tried to do as much as I could. Get but you like business. country, basically. You don't like rock and roll, or you know, I like everything. And when I got into country music, I was not a country music fan at all. Oh, I didn't know why. anything about it. Oh. And you know, it just kind of grows on you. Yeah, it does grow on you. Yeah, it really does. I'm from Toronto. We normally listen to rock and roll, but uh, well, I remember some Canadians from from uh, or uh, there's some country stars from Canada. Shania okay. Twain. Shania Twain. Celine Dion. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, Lynn can actually sing My Heart Will Go On. Why don't you go ahead and Paul sing Paul Anka. <laughs> <laughs> You're so funny. <laughs> you go first. You started off, honey. And she's got a fear of water, which is really ironic. <laughs> He's giving me a headache. <laughs> Anyways, uh, <laughs> how long have you been with the radio station? For 15 years. 15. Here we go. Yeah, I know. 15? Everything's kind of like got this round number. What is this? 15 is. years. Yeah. Oh, my stars. I'm telling you. What kind? Like, um... You're, what, five hours? Yeah, five to ten. Five Get to up ten. around three every day. Oh, the station wow. About 4.30-ish. Right. Yeah. It's yeah, uh, but you're, you don't get home until yeah, 12.30, it's 30, 1 o'clock sometimes. And it's a regular day. You know, we're, we're, always, we're always on the clock. You know, we're always trying to think of different things. It must be tough being on the clock. How can <laughs> you have to be beside it, not on it? <laughs> Yeah. Ooh. Ooh, Ooh I know. Know. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> so your kids are, are they going to go into radio or TV? I Do hope you know? Not. No. I'm you hope not. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guess what, people? I want them to be doctors and lawyers. You know, and they can yeah. support us for a while. But uh, yeah, they're going to really? do with. Seriously, are they into showbiz? Well, they're both hams. I would say That's that. That's right. Yeah, they would have no problem with it. Our daughter's really. She's a she's a handball. Is she yeah. into music? Oh, music, dancing. dancing. Yeah, she's ballet. No, actually, hip hop. Hip hop. A hip hop yeah. dance. Yeah. She's oh, you would have loved the guest that I had on. He is a rapper. He was a. He still is, a rapper. His name was Venom. And oh, cool. he sang beautifully. He should be on uh, at towards the end of uh, this month of March. And uh, you'd be able to hear it, hear oh him. Cool. Oh, he's. Well, she would like that. She would oh, like that. Oh, he's, he's just definitely awesome. So, anyways, what motivated you to become a radio? Uh, uh, are you a radio jockey? You know what was that? Are you a disc jockey? No. Yeah. A disc jockey. Mm -hmm. Radio. Okay. Um, uh, when when I was a kid, I always liked messing around. You know, when we had tape recorders, I don't think. Probably people really know what those are anymore. <laughs> I do. I used to mess around with those when I was a kid and do make up newscasts and commercials and things like that. And then um, as I as I got older, I kind of was like, okay, what am I doing? What am I going to do? And I was working at a restaurant of all places, and I was making tapes up about you know, the employees. And one day, one of the uh, one of my coworkers said, you know, you ought to try getting into radio. You got a you know, got a good voice. You got and the voice and for it. Yeah, you got a deep voice. I said, you know what? I can have fun and I can make a living, and so I tried it, and it's, it's worked out pretty good. You speak well. Well, thank you. Where did you learn your English? Where did I learn my English? No, where did you learn to speak, you know, the way you're speaking now? Your did voice you go to school? Oh, I was just, just broadcasting school, but it was just broadcasting. more fun. Checking himself out in the mirror, he would look at himself. <laughs> like, hey, how you doing? <laughs> no. <laughs> No, not really. Aye, hmm. they. Is time up yet? <laughs> no, almost there, but here. nice. <laughs> <laughs> How long is your show, and when, when does it start? From 5 to 10? 5 to 10. 5 hours? Yes. Good. And then nice. we're, we're around town doing different things. Do you do uh, special events? And yeah. Things. Yeah, we're always out. We yeah. have a, a big concert we put on every summer down at Headwaters Park in town called Country Fest, and we'll have year five coming up here in August, and we'll be announcing mm. that lineup here uh, in a few months. Does it say how much? To get in? Or is uh, it free? I think it's around fifteen dollars trying to keep it <laughs> open to the family and fifteen. <laughs> yeah. Per person? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <that'll happen. laughs> per person? Yes. Yeah. Oh, 
but it's an all day. Yeah, oh, it I goes from have so. Max. Yeah. yeah so long. your show is it only during the week? Well, we all do weekend shifts, so yeah, we're always you always catch us at some point during during the week for sure. But on the weekends, you can be mm. around too. Well, what's your favorite uh, time of the day? My favorite time of the day? Yeah. Well, you have don't you have? <laughs> <laughs> I knew he was gonna say that. <laughs> Anyways, napping or sleeping here and sleeping <laughs> bedtime. <laughs> well, at work, I mean, I mean, you must have a schedule. It's, you do this at a certain time. You do that at a certain time. Oh, we just we love to have fun. You know, mm -hmm. that's the. You have contests thing. and stuff. Yeah, we do contests, do call-ins, uh, play a lot of music. My partner and I, Dude Walker, have been together for uh, well, fourteen of the fifteen years since What's I've been here. What's his name? Dude Walker. Dude Walker. Mm -hmm. I have yet to meet him. Yeah, um, Someday I would. Consider like to. yourself lucky. <laughs> Would you believe this dude? <laughs> no, no, he's dude. I'm Dan. <laughs> Hi, Dan. <laughs> oh, my stars. So, oh, you're throwing me off guard again. You do know that. <laughs> so, you like, do you, what do you see in the future for you both? Well, your school, your uh, kids going to school, university, college? Yeah. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah, they're I'm sure uh, they would. And what about your show? What do you see in the future for yourself? Well, hopefully, one day, <laughs> maybe on the Food Network. I don't that'd know. That'd be awesome. <laughs> you never know. Oh. Hey, that'd be cool. Yeah. yeah. You never know. Well, how would you be able to get there? I don't know. You, ha you have if to have sponsors. If anybody has any ways to do that. <laughs> <laughs> that'd be cool. Yeah. Rachel, Paula, if you're listening. <laughs> Who are they? We're just, we're just taking it day right. by day right. for right now and enjoying what we have. Absolutely. And you're getting the experience on being on TV. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And what about you in your future? I don't know. Radio. I don't know what it holds. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I guess I'll know when the when the time comes. Is radio changing? Oh yeah, it's everything's digital and it's not. I mean, you're into social networks and Facebook and Twitter and, and everything else, and who knows what the next thing's going to be. But uh, it, is, it has changed so much since going from vinyl to, you know, from cassette to vinyl to now CDs yeah. and computers. and You don't do any yeah. reporting, do you? Reporting, no. But you do have reporters, no? Yeah, we have a news department. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So basically what you do is you, you don't plan on doing the turn stuff. No. Uh, you Everything's in a computer. In a computer. What, if ha what would happen if the computers went to kaput? You'd hear us talking a lot. I <laughs> love. <laughs> <laughs> no electricity, oh boy. <laughs> or we'd have Lintz in a Titanic theme. <laughs> <laughs> you are so awesome. <laughs> no, I'm not going to do that. See, seeing the movie, they're not going to do that. <laughs> I know how the movie ends. Yeah, boat sinks. I wish I would have known that before I went. <laughs> Who'd have thought? Who'd have known? Who'd have known? It would have saved you some money. <laughs> so, what do you want to do um, years from now? Uh, say, would you stay in Fort Wayne? Oh, we love Fort Wayne. Fort Wayne's a great place to be. But we want to travel. We want to. We want to do the uh, the RV thing. The RV thing. Want to uh, roll around? Our the kids don't like that when we say oh, that. When why? We we're away at college. We're going to get in the RV and we're going to go. See ya. What do you mean? <laughs> you're going to get away from the house. You're going to not go be there when we come home. That's what yeah. we'd like to do. Just get in the RV and go. The, um, what grades are your kids in? Can I ask or is that too personal? Oh, no. no. Seventh and fourth. Seventh and fourth. Yeah. And your dog? Dog's you got a dog. She, she's, she's six. six. Yeah. yeah, golden retriever who's just a big baby and oh. makes me lazy. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's the dog's name? Maui. Maui? Yeah, like the... the like the Maui? Island. Yeah, because that's where we had our honeymoon. Ha! Uh-huh. A little piece that's of Hawaii. That's another part of your world. life I'm interested. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that, that was fun. That was... Oh, my gosh. It was beautiful. That was 10 of the best days of our life, I think. Besides We've always said that. kids. Yeah. yeah that was, oh, man. That was awesome. It was so funny. It was awesome. Beautiful. What beautiful was the, place. What was your favorite place there in Hawaii? I would say when we went to well Maui and just the the beaches, just laying on the beaches and mm -hmm. oh and there was um a restaurant called Leilani's. Oh. Oh, oh we're yeah. gonna go back to food because they yeah. served hula pie everywhere you went. Every restaurant What's had that? hula pie. It oh. was an Oreo crust. Incredible. With 
um, caramel on top of that with macadamia nut ice cream covered with a whipped cream mm. and a cherry and it was really oh. good. I like cherry. Very yeah. good. What you got there, girl? Speaking of treats, I made you some Oreo truffles because you are so sweet and you always compliment me on what I make, so I made you a treat again today. So how do you make this? Oh gosh, these are really easy. It's a package of Oreos right. crushed up in the food processor or with your rolling pin so that it's fine. Mm -hmm. A brick of cream cheese softened oh. and you mush it and you roll them into balls and you refrigerate them and then you dunk them in white chocolate white coating. White chocolate. Mm. Okay, I thought it was yogurt. Yep, white chocolate coating. I'll be dog helps well. Very easy and you can <laughs> put whatever sprinkles you want on them. And oh yeah, these are, they, they look too good to eat. <laughs> oh, you have to eat them. They're very oh, yummy. Time. Very, very, very yummy. And you got three. <gasps> Bob's going to like that one. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure. So, um, we're getting towards the end of our show. My goodness, it's almost up. She See, it's a quick. She talks so much. <laughs> it's unbelievable. I do not. <laughs> <laughs> I do. We all <laughs> talked evenly today, so we're <laughs> doing all right. Would you ever like to come back on as guest? Absolutely. Who would oh. we be next time? <laughs> 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 no problem. We can come back to visit you. Yeah. And he'll even bring dude. Oh, yes. <laughs> Hope you got an hour to fill. <laughs> uh, do they allow dogs in here? <laughs> no, really. No, that's Maui. Oh, that's Maui. No, I oh, I don't know if they allow dogs in here, but Maui would, would oh, probably wait a minute. love. Dude is the... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Easy to get Hello. <laughs> well, I see by the clock on the wall, it's time to go and all that sort, and I wish we didn't have to, but, uh, well, thank you. Lynn. Well, thank you for having Lynn us. Lynn Austin, people. Thank you. Lynn thank Austin. You. Thanks for having us, Patty. Dan it's a pleasure. Dan Austin, thank you for coming on to my show. Very well. I do enjoy having you people here. Thank you. You put a smile on my face all the time. Well, I'm glad we can put a smile <laughs> on your face. <laughs> I don't know if you're laughing at us or laughing, uh, laughing oh, yeah. with <laughs> you. <laughs> laughing with you. Absolutely. Well, thank you, people, for coming in to our studio today. My guests were Lynn and Dan Austin. Hope to hear from you again. See you next week. Good day.